Welcome back guys! In today's video I will tackle a problem that most likely you have had sometime and that is how do you get your damn wires into those small connectors? I mean you could potentially solder the wires and add some soldering to the end and so I will today show you another way to solve that problem rather easily So and what is the solution to the problem? This is the solution to the problem Using this type of end caps makes it very very easy to actually get them out and in of the ends. It also looks really really neat. If you're just going to hook up two cards or boards together, you could actually use this type of wires instead. They already have those kind of end caps attached to them. They're normal jumper cables that are for solderless PCBs. I will link them in down below. The end caps that we are going to take a look at are this type here. You just take your wire and strip the end off and then push them into this here. Then you use your normal plier like this one, depending on the size, and you clamp them. And by doing that they will fit really snug to the wire and make a perfect end joint. But if you don't have a tool like this for the small dimensions needed here, I will show you a tip on get those onto the wire. For instance, we have this rather small or thin wire here that we want an end cap on. Let's see if we can find one that do fit, and we'll make sure that it fits inside. So now it's a problem that you need to get those together. If you don't have the plier that I have, you need to do something else. You can use a normal plier to do it, but I prefer to actually solder them in place, and that's not really tricky. Put them into the stand, and as you can see here, there's a little, little bit sticking out. And that's a must to get this to work. And then you take your soldering iron, and just add some solder to the end, and that will creep into the actual tube itself. Don't add too much, because you don't want it to be on the outside. And when that's done, you take your fresh or flush cut pliers and cut off the end. And you then have this perfectly nice joint that you can use. And this, I mean, it looks very very beautiful, you get nothing that is sticking out. So basically, we have our freshly added end. And we just push that one inside. And we can tighten the screw a little bit if we want. And that's how it looks. Look how nice and neat that looks. And it fits really really good. I hope you enjoyed this weekly Tuesday tip. Today I just quickly showed you how you can use these end caps and make your connections look really really beautiful. And if you don't have as and if you don't have this kind of tool here to actually clamp them in place, you can solder the ends. If you want to buy any one of these, check out the links below that I have added. And once again guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it's a good opportunity to do that now. And I will see you next time. Bye!